Um, this, is, this is a brand new piece of theatre, mm -hmm. uh, a brand new piece of writing for, from Caroline Duffy and uh, a brand new piece for you to tackle. Um, as a theatre maker, where do you start in a process like this? Well, we started with, I mean, we started with Caroline, uh, well, the theatre approaching me because Caroline had spoken to them about um, uh, dramatising, well, she'd wanted to write a piece, a, a dramatic version of um, Pied Piper of Hamlin and she wanted to collaborate with me on it. And so I was approached by the theatre, um, and what emerged was that, that uh, Caroline wanted to weave in some of her own stories and some, uh, some retelling of, retellings of other folk tales that she loved into the story of the Pied Piper. Um, eventually it just came uh, obvious, in a way, that, we, that the stories stood alone, but sort of coexisted with one another. And, um, and then a really interesting and pressing theme began to emerge, which was the, the theme of uh, stolen childhood, which is sort of very obvious and literal in the Pied Piper, and more about other things that happen in life in the other stories, you know, growing old or children having to um, obey parents in inappropriate ways and so on. So that theme became really our driving force, the big motivator behind the whole production. And how, how do you work with the actors in a piece like this, where I, that, that sense of play and sense of fun, I imagine? Well, <laughs> yes. I mean, when we're working with the actors, it, we do start with um, often just uh, telling the story. We've got the script, they haven't learned the words. Then we might just tell the story as we remember it and see what comes out of that, see what things seem to really um, feature in our imaginations, because often that's quite telling. Um, and then you sort of just begin to discover really what the story is about. And then I might break them down into twos and they might just tell the story quite intimately to each other. And then they might tell it in a very sharing way. Um, still not, you know, just they don't know the words particularly, but they're just remembering the story and telling it. And they're getting used to storytelling. Because after all, that's all the production is, 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 is about sharing these stories. Um, and, and then we might get up on the floor and actually improvise the story, play it out. And sometimes even if a story takes 10 minutes to tell, it might take 40 minutes to play out. But that is often, the, the seed of an idea is often there. How much are, how much are you influenced by the designs and as that, as that starts to build and, and, and become real? How much are you influenced by that until the stage? Yeah, I mean, how much are we influenced by it? Stories really are the, are the, are the seed and, you know, Last April, May, I think Anna and I spent so, some time together just talk, reading the stories together and imagining them on stage, imagining you know, how we would achieve this moment, which any sort of moments that were sort of quite difficult. And you know, together we'd, we'd, we'd sort of, there was this sort of germination of various ideas, really, some of which I knew I could achieve you know, if I, if I presented a, a, the, the seed of an idea to the actors, I knew that, 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 that it would flower in the rehearsal room. As a theatre, we've been discussing this, this is not a children's piece, this is not an adult's piece, this is, this is a family yeah. show, and I, I, that's hard to, 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 to talk about, really, in lots yeah. of ways. Isn't it? How, what are you trying to create for the audience? How would you describe it? Well, I think, you know, I think our childhood experiences and memories are just so crucial and they, 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 they form us in a way and, and certainly I know that Carol Ann is really um, influenced by her own childhood, you know, as a poet, as a writer, as well as, and as, as um, is Ella, her, her daughter, as a big inspiration in her life and I think that, you know, childhood is as important for adults as it is for, for children really. It's so, and our own children are as important to us as our own childhood. So that's really where the, the bridge is. Um, and, you know, when I think of the audience and, and think about uh, making theatre that will uh, reach several generations, um, I think primarily of the children. 